looking at the soaring volume of waste generation with increasing population waste management is the need of the hour they say lead by example and that is exactly what hsr layout is trying to do set an example for the best practices in solid waste management hsr layout located in namma bengaluru is known for managing solid waste in an effective and efficient way around 90% of waste segregation is being carried out at source along with lane composting park tank composting temple composting and dry waste collection center the city has set an example to decentralized approach in solid waste management in addition to this in creating awareness to everyone about waste management and encouraging learnings about composting and sustainable lifestyle swachhagraha kalika kendra plays a vital role dear citizens this is the announcement of bbmp bbmp has made garbage segregation mandatory in this regard citizens should separate their household waste at source wet waste dry waste and reject waste should be given separately waste waste is generated every day instead of mixing this waste and throwing it in a corner it is our responsibility to segregate it at source and handle it properly in hsa nearly 90% of waste segregation is carried out effectively the segregated waste is handed over to the waste collection vehicle that comes every day then the segregated waste is not mixed in the cart is stored separately and taken In terms of segregation in all the BBMP wards ours is the number 1 ward ask our auto drivers as a surprise they themselves say that we do not get mixed garbage in any way because we warn people and follow up in every block wet waste and reject waste is collected every day and dry waste is collected twice a week the waste that is collected separately is then transported to specified collection centers through bbmp vehicles the kitchen waste that we generate at home like vegetable and fruit pills leftover food etc can be composted at home a lot of hsr residents follow this they go by the motto my garbage is my responsibility we can use the compost to grow healthy plants in our own backyard In a very simple way, if we spend two minutes a day, we can compost wet waste at our home. From past eight years, I am composting wet waste. In the last eight years, I have never given the wet waste to BBMP. The Varasiddhi Vinayaka Temple in 7th sector of Hsa Layout proudly calls itself as plastic free temple. This temple's speciality is that the flowers and the fruits offered to the god is later segregated and composted at the temple itself in a divine composter. This compost will be used to the parks and will be distributed among the residents of the layout
After it is composted, we take it to our home saying it is a divine compost. We can then use it to our plants. Then we can offer a guilt-free puja to God. With the cooperation of BBMP and Welfare Associations of 7th Sector, we have started segregation at temple. At start, it was quite difficult. It is going really great now. And we say our temple is a plastic-free temple. We are proud to say that we are a clean temple due to everyone's cooperation. We are now in Twin Park of HSR Third Sector. I will show you how to compost the leaves lying on the road. Back in 2015, in the evening, people used to burn the leaves. We could sense the smoke by evening 6.30 to 7. So, to solve this problem, we went to the Joint Commissioner of Bommanahalli and asked him for tanks in the parks. Immediately, he agreed now there are 22 park tanks in HSA. The leaves lying around the park are swept and brought into the pit. Dung water is sprinkled once in 15 days. With the rain water, it goes down and compost is formed. After the compost is ready, we use it for the same park. Or messages will be sent to the residents. Whoever wants, takes it. The motto is to avoid burning of leaves. Leaves contain carbon in them. It should go back to the soil. If there is no carbon in the soil, there will be no fertility. This park tank has no concrete below. So if it rains heavily also, everything goes down and earthworms also comes from below. It is very important to compost leaves, so there will be no problem of burning. Another interesting practice of this area is the lane composter or street composters. In HSR layout, there are nearly 10 to 15 lane composters. Wet waste collected from around 40 houses in that street is fed to the lane composter. Once this is converted into compost, it is distributed among the residents of the street. Talking about best practices in HSR, a mention of Swachagraha Kalika Kendra is a must. First of its kind in India, an information education center. Swachagraha Kalika Kendra is a solid waste management learning center. This center houses more than 20 home and community composting models, both DIY and vendor based. This center also models the community garden with healthy chemical-free vegetables and grains that is grown using the compost that is generated within the center. The center promotes the usage of greener alternatives to a sustainable lifestyle like low waste home, plastic free life, sustainable menstruation, composting and the like. Awareness on sustainable hygiene is one of the major campaigns that this center is involved in. 
they have changed the lives of many power karmikas who are now converted yes that's the term they proudly used to mention the change they have brought no cash no trash no rash this concise mantra encapsulates the transformative shift towards eco-friendly menstrual practices it has been 7 years since we started using cup so we also thought of issuing the menstrual cups to the power kamikas as well we were scared initially will they understand this menstrual cup will they use it will they be scared to use it so we trained and hand holded them to use menstrual cup now we are doing the same in bommanahalli world as well with the help of circular waste solutions and sahas ngo we call for menstrual cup donors and distribute cups to paurakamikas my dream is that all of them who are menstruating paurakarmikas should use menstrual cups all across bengaluru till then we won't stop my name is ganga i am using cup since 2 years there is no problem from this bad use causes problems with menstrual cup it has become easy to travel and go anywhere we want easily now without menstrual cup i even can't survive if there is any active citizen responsible citizen who is a uh, you know who is cup converted or who is a cup user and know the benefits of it want to do uh, transform their ward their neighborhood frontline workers like power karmikas police women beat asha workers anganwadi teachers any frontline workers in their ward if they want to transform we are there to help bbmp rwa swmrt all together have improvised the quality of segregation in hsa penalty is the main concept we are seeing a change there because of the penalty on the spot one small change has changed the whole hsa i am very proud to be the health inspector of hsa to be in hsa as a health inspector intentionally we don't penalize simply put the awareness in words it is not effective so we impose penalty before penalizing we make sure if they have all the garbage disposable facilities so all these penalty drives are every single day motivated from hsr now across bangalore we see lot of marshals and lot of junior health inspectors every day being on toes to bring the change and that has really changed showed the difference another good practice is the zero waste event not only promoting but practicing is their go to mantra they either carry their own cutlery or borrow steel cutleries from cutlery banks for all their events and make sure that they do not generate any waste let's celebrate zero waste events along with wet waste management the dry waste in hsa is also managed effectively Dry Waste Collection Center is decentralized waste management facility where the dry waste collected from the households are further segregated into 30 or more categories sorted into different types and is sent to the recyclers when it reaches a sizable volume Plastic is sorted into 11 or more types cloths are separated and sent to the material recovery facility centers The dry waste collection center uses conveyor belt for segregation and baling machines to bale similar objects. Without dry waste collection centers, we cannot reduce the amount of waste that goes into the landfill. 
So, dry waste collection centers are one of the best practices in HSR layout. Our layout has witnessed many firsts, that is, maybe segregation at source, plastic ban, renter cutlery, tree plantation, sustainable menstruation, etc. I feel proud to be associated with such an environmental friendly organization. In HSR layout, with the support and effort of HSR Citizen Forum, Solid Waste Management Roundtable, Garbage Contractors, Annapurneshwari Associates, 90% of waste is being segregated at source. With lane composting, temple composting, park tank composting and Swachagraha Kalika Kendra, nearly 300 kgs of wet waste is being composted daily. Further. Nearly 5,000 kgs of dry waste is being segregated at the Dry Waste Collection Centre. Nearly 2,000 tonnes of waste has been avoided ending up in the landfill. Swachagraha Kalika Kendra has been playing a major role in creating awareness on composting, segregation, sustainable leaving to general public. These steps taken by the HSR Citizen Forum, BBMP, SWMRT towards sustainable living and garbage-free city is an example to many of us.